welcome to Staff Works Explained. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Also, watch other videos that we have done on different uh, topics. In today's video, we'll be talking about Lazar Mixed Development Project, which is being done in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. In this video, we'll look at the components of the project, what we expect from the uh, the project to be f uh, or when we expect the project to be finished and the challenges that the project is facing so welcome let us sail together in this project lagar mixed development project is a massive 1.9 billion dollars real estate project which is underway in addis ababa ethiopia since 2018 Recently, Eagle Hughes announced that the Gara project, which consists of 30,000 square meter apartments and a shopping mall complex, will be fully completed and handed over to the owners by 2026. So this will be about eight years since the project kicked off in 2018. The much anticipated launch event for a Gara mall residence was uh, scheduled to take place in January uh, 2024. Lagar Mixed Development Project, as we have seen, is a massive project which is underway in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and uh, it's located at the heart of Addis Ababa, uh, near uh, or around historic Lagar Station. The area is easily accessible uh, from the largest airport in Addis Ababa, Bole International Airport, and uh, there's a metro line running along its border. The project is being undertaken by Eagle Hills, which is a real estate company based in uh, UAE. And uh, Eagle Hills, the company which is developing this project, is renowned for its real estate development expertise and has undertaken uh, various projects in different parts of the world. Uh, the construction of the, all the buildings uh, in this project are being carried out in collaboration with the China Communication Construction Company Limited, CCCC. And uh, components of this project include residential units, which uh, are in tune of 4,000 resident houses. Uh, they range from uh, studios to four-bedroom apartments. Then there are commercial spaces where we have offices, retail stores, and commercial establishments, which will be part of this mix. Then the, in terms of hospitality, the development includes international hotels, which caters for visitors as well as for residents. Then there are leisure and entertainment facilities, uh, where this facility will offer, offer a vibrant at atmosphere with leisure and entertainment options. The designs also prioritizes on uh, pedestrian, creating a walkable and uh, integrated community with, uh, with the Central Park as its focal point. Uh, the Lagar aspires to be a sustainable and contemporary neighborhood, blending Ethiopian cultural heritage with modern African design. The historic Lagar station will be adaptively reused, preserving a piece of the city's past while creating a space for contemporary life. Lagar aims to be a central hub for Addis Ababa, offering residents and visitors a place to live, work and shop, as well as enjoy leisure activities within a well-designed and integrated community. The project has a social component where there is a social housing uh, component uh, which is intended to address the needs for existing residents on the development site. The primary objective of this social housing component is to provide permanent housing solution for people who are currently residing the, in the area where the gar is being built. This, is, this aims to minimize displacement due to large-scale development. The Ethiopian government is uh, collaborating with Iga Hills in this social housing aspect. This suggests a joint effort to ensure fair treatment for the existing residents. Unfortunately, there is limited publicly available information regarding the specifics of this social housing component. The project has been facing challenges, such as uh, it is not moving within the 
the speed that people expected and some of the challenges that the project is facing one is construction delays where in the initial construction phases it has experienced delays used to uh, various reasons including material shortages where there have been reports of cement shortages in Ethiopia and these impacted construction timelines then there are boundary issues uh, where is solving land ownership and boundary disputes uh, cause delays uh, especially in this kind of a project then in terms of financing as we saw the project is a uh, uh, budget or costing 50 billion Ethiopian bar which is roughly 1.9 billion USD uh, securing such a huge amount of money uh, can be a Herculean task and this is delaying the project in different aspect then there is a viability of the project where the Lagar mixed use development project has a strong potential for, for viability that is known but there are also uncertainties to consider from a positive view there is a um, potential demand for modern residential commercial as well as leisure facilities uh, that this project uh, promises the project location near the airport and metro lines also adds to its appeal then there is an aspect of a government backing where the Ethiopian government is collaborating with Eagle Hughes the developer of this project and this signific uh, uh, signifies that there is support for project uh, which could uh, streamline approvals as, as well as provide the necessary infrastructure uh, as, as needed then uh, the sheer size of this project uh, is significant and uh, managing material comp procurement financing and construction timelines uh, becomes a crucial uh, aspect of success there's also competition that is ca uh, meant to come from other type of project of this nature and the project viability hinges on the its uh, ability to compete uh, well with this uh, project then uh, the social aspect we are addressing residential displacement concerns and uh, ensuring fair compensation are crucial negative publicity surrounding social issues could impact uh, the project uh, immensely uncertainties also linger where the project completion uh, date could be impacted by unforeseen circumstances as the long term success of the project depends on various factors like uh, overall uh, performance of economy and also its ability to, to attract uh, residents as well as business overall we can see that uh, the Lagar viability is promising but uh, we cannot co uh, guarantee it 100 percent monitoring the project overall uh, progress and how it addresses the challenges will provide a clear picture of its uh, long-term uh, prospects then there is a uh, issue of uh, relocation where due to the fact that the project is big uh, relocation has been a, a problem relocation due to the Lagar project has been a contentious issues and that has raised concerns for residents living in the desi uh, designated development area there are up to 1,600 households that uh, were affected by the project and this required relocation this is a significant number of people whose homes were to be impacted the Ethiopian government has a role to play in ensuring that uh, there is fair compensation as well as resettlement options for these displaced residents. However, details regarding the specifics of these plans are limited publicly. There has been reports of disagreement between residents and the government regarding compensation terms leading to delays in the project launch. The relocation issue is a critical aspect in this project and ensuring that there is fair and transparent process is crucial for the project uh, social impact as well as the reputation within its uh, the Sababa community there has been issue with the selection of developer uh, at first there were criticisms of Eagles Hill selections for this project some of the general points included uh, some people argued that there was lack of transparency where the selection process for the Eagles Hills might not have been entirely transparent to the public the when you focus on the luxury development uh, project this Eagle Hills is uh, known for that and uh, when you look at its portfolio it leans towards high-end projects some criticize this approach questioning whether the uh, developer caters for the needs of the broader range of Addis Ababa residents including those who have low incomes there's 
experience in local contexts where Eagle Hills is known for its experience in large scale development. And there are fears that uh, the firm might like or might lack specific experience, especially navigating in the social uh, housing component. And probably this could lead to challenges in the project execution as well as resident engagement. In conclusion, we can say that the Lagar project in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, which is being led by Eagle Hughes, promises to be a transformative mixed-use development encompassing residential, commercial, and leisure spaces, despite facing challenges such as construction delays, financing concerns, and social uh, problems. Uh, the project is promising uh, in terms of its viability. The collaboration between the Eagle Hills and the Ethiopian government, which has 27% ownership through the Addis Ababa administration, uh, city administration, underscores a shared commitment to address resident displacement and also ensure fair compensation. However, transparency in the selection process of the developers, as well as concerns regarding the project focus on luxury development and its alignment with the local context have raised valid questions. Moving forward, careful monitoring of the project progress and its adherence to ethical and social responsibility will be essentially in uh, or will be essential in determining its long-term success and its impact on the Addis Ababa community. Efforts to, uh, to mitigate challenges and as well as engage with stakeholders transparently will be crucial for a girl for it to fulfill its potential as a sustainable and inclusive urban development. So thank you for reaching this far. It's your first time here. Please subscribe to this channel. Also watch other videos that you have done on different topics. Thank you and bye.